Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today, me and Mr. are getting out and about with two other couples that we sometimes go out with and we have such a good time with them always. So we were going out to a restaurant just to eat and have fun, talk together, and we went to Soul Secrets. Y'all know we've been there one time, but we went back again. Uh, they had not been there. And so we went again with them and we enjoyed it, of course, and they enjoyed it as well. Always a good time. Look what we had to eat. <laughs> yes, Bengals proud, of course. It's Bengals country. <laughs> but we went to Trader's World. Y'all, it's a place where you can get anything under the sun. It is a huge flea market, and there's new things, there's used things, but it's mostly new stuff. And it's like little business owners, they have their own booths. Let me tell you a fast history about it. It started out with three buildings and 250 vendor spaces inside. And so now it's like 16 buildings and 850 inside spaces and 400 outside booth spaces. And it's just decorated with things from long ago, different artifacts and stuff like that. And people sell everything, everything. And you can find just about whatever you want from there, whether it's everyday things, designer things, household items, and whatever you can imagine. So it is well worth it to travel there and uh, just look. Sometimes you don't even buy anything, but I, it would be hard pressed for you to get out of there without buying anything because they have everything. And this is just a few things that's there. This is someone that's selling Avon and they have Mary Kay Tupperware. You can get knockoff things there or real items. Like these are not real Crocs, but they look just like real Crocs. They have things you need and just some things you want. They have eclectic items, artifacts, and you know, things in season. And of course they have things that are also out of season. This was a little scary, but it was fun to look at. These little geometric shapes they were so eye-catching and so pretty I absolutely loved them I almost got one but I didn't need it so you have to be very careful of that there because you'll see a lot of things that you want to buy and the clothes oh my goodness they had evening wear blue jeans casual wear and wedding attire now I've been looking for good sheets all along but today I didn't come looking for this but I found it bamboo sheets y'all I will be back for more. They were so comfortable and so affordable. I'm so glad I found them. These are some oriental rugs that are there and they have home decor and carpet and mattresses, pillows, just everything. And you can even find all this good candy, different treats for the season. Uh, no matter when it is, they always have good candy and stuff. And then they have food, fried chicken dinners, pizza, onion rings, hot dogs, all that stuff so everything is under one roof so we got what we were looking for plus more and as always we will be back we were tired and hungry because it's a big place and you walking around all the time you get so hungry we could have eaten there but we were trying to be a little healthy so we went to piata and got some italian street food it's a lot like chipotle except the ingredients are a little different and this, I don't know what this bowl is called. You can either get a bowl that's called something or you can mix stuff up on your own. They have a lot of toppings and just the different ingredients you can get. So it was so good. So we are back from being out and about shopping and at the large like indoor flea market we went to called Trader's World, we found some sheets and they're the bamboo sheets, queen size. And these were $20. These were $20 and it's a six piece flat sheet, fitted sheet and four pillowcases. So I hope these feel real good. I love this color and um, got some, uh, some pants. They're kind of like a 
corduroy-ish type of material and hope that they are cute because you couldn't try them on up there but and I like that they stretchy in the waist mm -hmm. <laughs> but they were $16 so I wanted something brown and then I got this from Ollie's I'm hoping this smells good for my car this one I like the smell of it better in the store not as much at home but I'm, I'm gonna see and then we finally found some bowls because our bowls, they were old and we needed some new ones. I love the shape of these. And they're bigger than what they're looking like right here. But they were two for five seventy nine at Ollie's. Good stuff, cheap. Do y'all have one in y'all city? Let me know. They have so much stuff there. But that's what we got. And my husband got some stuff um, and they're downstairs with him. So, anywho. That's what we got. So Sunday for dinner, we went out to Cracker Barrel. It's a family favorite and everybody can get something off the menu that they like. So Cracker Barrel is the place. I did not feel like cooking today. So we went there and their biscuits never disappoint. They were hot and good. And um, I got the catfish dinner and Mm -hmm. It was good too. My husband, I think that was catfish, but he got his grilled. I like mine fried. Jalen had the roast beef dinner, and Isaiah had the fried chicken dinner. So we all left happy and full and went on to like watch movies and enjoy the rest of our day. But it was Tuesday or Wednesday, I think, and it was a shopping day for me. I went to Dollar Tree and some other places. Y'all, get there if you need Christmas stuff for next year. The items are 50 cent. 50 cent Christmas items. So I am out and about, and I am stopping to get me a little snack. Well, it's a meal, because I have not had breakfast yet, and salad is a meal. So I got the apple pecan salad from Wendy's, and got my little vinaigrette over here. What is this called? It's called um, pomegranate. Pomegranate vinaigrette and roasted pecans. This is my favorite salad from Wendy's. You probably saw me have it before. But yeah, I'm out and about, and I'm using my tray. I am so excited to be using my tray. And this is a little tray I got. I got it from Ollie's. It was $9.99. I got it last year sometime because I gave everybody in the household one of these to put in their cars. So you can work from it if you're stopped somewhere or eat on it as I'm doing now. But I'm dang. Love it, love it, love it. So this is it. It has the apples in it. It has blue cheese, crumbles, chicken breast, cranberries, and... I think that's it that's actually in it and uh, it has a few little croutons and then I'm gonna put the pecans on it and the uh, vinaigrette I really should have been getting something simple something I could uh, ride and eat but I've been eating bad enough so I needed a salad so this is what I got I got a lot of stuff on the island so I couldn't put everything on there but uh, I'm about to put up the groceries. Got some chicken breasts from Walmart. Chicken breast tenderloin. So that's that. Got some beef patties. This is a bag of extra crispy fast food french fries from Fort Ida. And I got some, I'm sorry y'all, but I'm in a rush stir fry veggies and sauce, the Asian style from Bird's Eye. It's a nice size bag. And that was $6 or something. And I got some leggings, just those like four or five, six dollar leggings from Walmart. Just something to wear around the house. I got three pair of those, gray, some camouflage, and then navy blue. Um, got some buns. Y'all, the Walmart buns, they look like they was paper. They didn't look like they was made out of nothing. So I put them right back down. Got these ballpark ones. Got some Sally Hansen Insta Dry. This is the kind of nail dry I use for my nails. I really love this. And I got this, um, well, the Equate Cotton Swabs. They're just like the Q-Tip brand. They are more than a dollar less, 500. And um, Welch's Great Jam. 
got some makeup remover wipes. It's the Equate brand. Got some stockings, because I still wear stockings to church, y'all. Mm -hmm. And um, got some whiteout. Got some restaurant style uh, tortilla chips. Got some pine saw. Lotion. Got some Equate. Um, um, it's just like Vaseline Intensive Care. Got some that I hope it smells as good as the Vaseline Intensive Care. I used to get that years ago. I love that aloe smell. I hope it smells like it. Got this um, uh, furniture polish. Got some penne pasta. Got four oranges. Uh, I got them. Oh, I had got that from Kroger's a few days ago. And I got some cranberry mango. I got some 100% cranberry juice and some black cherry cranberry. Then I got some cantina style tortilla chips, uh, some meal prep food storage containers just with one compartment, not multiple. And then I got some slap yo mama. I have never used this. I have never used this. I saw, well, Jalen uses it and a lot of other people do. I've seen it on YouTube and other people have used it. Um, so I'm anxious to use it. But what really made me get it, y'all, was a couple weeks ago, right before Christmas, it was this older lady in Walmart. And she, I guess she was kind of shopping last minute for her uh, Christmas dinner. And she was over there. She could not find the slap your mama. She was talking to herself and everything. And I'm just listening. And she's like, I cannot believe they don't have no slap your mama. Oh my goodness. Like slap your mama was just gonna make it or break it for her. <laughs> like she couldn't use no other seasoning. So I said, it must be good. So I wanted to try it. So I got some of that. And I got some cards and I got some uh, zip lock bags. So I went to Target. I didn't show inside of Target when I was shopping. I should have. Uh, and I went some other places, a lot of other places, and I didn't show. I was just trying to get in and out. Um, but I was looking for a shower caddy, and I found one. I found one that did not say that it had that um, cancer-causing agent in it. Uh, like if it started eroding or whatever. If you check your shower caddy, uh, some of them say that it can cause, it has a carcinogen in it, rather, from the state of California, blah, 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 blah. So basically, if it starts eroding and then that's showing and then your soap touches it or whatever product that you put on your body or in your head or whatever, then, um, you know, that could be, I guess, cancer causing or whatever. So be careful of warnings, you know, different labels. Sometimes we don't pay any attention to it. But y'all be careful of what uh, the items you have, what they have in it. It's rust resistant and it doesn't have that, you know, carcinogen or whatever. So prayerfully that's the case. And I went to Gabriel Brothers, or rather Gabe's now as it is called. And I got this shirt. It says California on it. And I have relatives there, and I've been there before. Love the state. So when I saw this, I said, I got to have it. It would look nice with some um, sweatpants, black sweatpants. That would look so nice with that. And I got, oh, it was $7.99. And then uh, I have to wash it still. Of course, I, I like to wash everything before I wear it. And then I got this necklace. It's gray. Well, more like clear. Let's see if I can show that better. Clear and white. And it's $4.99. I think it has some earrings up in there, but they're small. I don't like super small earrings like that. So I would wear something else. And then I have this. It was $5.99 really pretty colors in it so that would be very nice for like summertime so and i got some things at um whole foods and as i 
start cooking and doing the smoothies and different things like that, I'll tell you, you know, what items I got from Whole Foods. But I didn't do a haul, you know, on my kitchen table or rather kitchen island showing you everything. I forgot and I put everything up in the um, refrigerator and in the cabinets. But as I'm using it, I'll show it. Hey guys, welcome back to a haul. Um, I'm going to insert these when I do them inside vlogs instead of doing them separately for right now. Uh, I think I said that before a while ago. But this is my Kroger haul. This was $207, y'all. $207. And then on top of that, I had to go out and get it in rain. <laughs> Don't you just hate going grocery shopping when it's raining? Got to get to and from the store to the car with the umbrella and trying to put your groceries in the car, all that stuff. Oh my goodness. Anyway, I am going to, it is Thursday and it, it is my cleaning day, grocery shopping day and my nail day. So I'm gonna get these groceries up, try to clean and then get my nails done. Hopefully by this, by tonight and um, go from there. But anyway, let me go ahead and show y'all this $207 haul. This should have been like $155 somewhere in there. This should have been $155, but it was, it was two something. It was two 20 something or two 30 something. But then once you put in your Kroger alternate ID and you have those coupons in there, the savings that they have also, and it just kind of trickles down. I was thankful for the trickle down, but $207 was still a lot. Anyway, let me show y'all what I got. Okay. So this is all from Kroger's. No Aldi today. I got some chicken thighs. They were about $10.99, I think they were. I got the Heritage Farm ones. Then I got two little macaroni and cheese. Th this, you know, I love to make macaroni and cheese from scratch, but this does in a pinch um, when you don't want to shred the cheese and do all that. And then you can add your own spices and stuff to it and add a little bit of shredded cheese that's already shredded. So, um... I usually put like some sharp cheddar and then I put onion powder and a, some few other spices and it tastes good. It's really good. Got some green tea and I got some sweet potatoes. Yeah, I made the best sweet potato dish the other day. I'll have to do it for a video. And I got some grapes. The sweet potatoes were 89 cents a pound. The grapes were two something a pound. So I just got a little bit. Uh, for my salad, and then we just want something to snack on. Got some watermelon. This little thing was $3.99, but I love it in my salad. The oranges were $0.99 cents a piece. Mm, expensive. And then the mushrooms, got some of those. I think they were $2.49, somewhere in there. The blackberries, and these are some good ones. Those little bulbs are big, so you can tell they are juicy and good. And they're big. They are just huge. Uh, these were, I'm thinking $2.99 on sale. And this is a small little thing, y'all. But $2.99. Got some um, vine ripened tomatoes. I didn't even look at the price on here because we just needed some. And I like the vine ripened ones um, from the store. None of them have taste to me, really. But these do taste, you know, decent. The other ones just taste like air to me. But the ones we get off the vine, off of our garden in the summertime, nothing beats those. They are delicious, full of flavor. They are hearty and just good. Got some broccolini. Love the broccolini. I may do this. I'll probably do a video with Jalen one day. She wants to know, or rather she wants me to teach her how to make my broccolini dish. So I might make that on camera with her. Uh, got some broccoli, regular broccoli, and this I put in like Alfredo and stuff like that. Got some whole carrots. These just came up to 64 cents. I got four of those. They were 64 cents. Got some um, shrimp. They're already cooked and it's tail on, deveined, and peeled. These were ooh, $15, I think. $15, I believe. Got some um, orange juice. These were $1.79, I believe. Y'all, these used to be $0.99. Cent. Not, not like two years ago, it seems like. So, definitely gone up. These cremettes were on sale for uh, uh, $0.79. Cent. 
so i don't know i'm gonna try to try to put this in the january what's today 12 13 14 15 january 15th blog hopefully i get it up on this sunday the 15th i think it's the 15th anyway somewhere in there um but our kroger sales run to tuesday night so i don't know when when yours run but these are 79 cents, so get there and get some if you can, because y'all know these are usually like $1.25 or $1.50. I got some uh, fruit for our smoothies. Uh, let's see what else. Let me come down this way. Got some apples, some spinach, and I know spinach is cheaper when you get it fresh, but sometimes I don't use it all up and then you waste it, so I just wanted to get some frozen. Got some avocados. Got some peas and carrots. And I use my avocados for um, my avocado toast in the morning. Sometimes I make guacamole too and just dip it with the tortilla chips. These were 89 cents, I believe, each. And the, these are the big ones. Those are the big ones. I got some peas and carrots and, you know, just frozen vegetables. They were four for five dollars. And let's see, got some half and half. I already got one in the uh, refrigerator. So that's good to make Alfredo with. People usually make it, or I usually make it uh, heavy whipping cream. And I've done that too. My video, I think I actually have heavy whipping cream, but you can also make it with half and half. I have 2% milk. I got two of these. I am doing much better with not drinking too much milk though, but you know, my husband drinks it sometimes and Isaiah drinks it, you know, they have it with their cereal and I drink it sometimes too, but not just by itself. Um, I don't eat that much cereal and I do usually have it with, uh, like cookies if I'm having cookies or some candy, some chocolate candy, like Reese's mm. ain't nothing better than milk with Reese's. Anywho, I digress. Raisin Bran, the crunchy kind. Isaiah likes those. I like those too. Got the regular for my husband. And what else? Got some grits. They don't have the five minute quick ones anymore. I don't know what happened to those, but anyway, got the old fashioned ones. I usually cook mine a long time anyway. These are like $3.69. They're usually $1.99 somewhere in there. And then the Kroger brand, they don't even have those anymore. The Kroger brand was like $1.79 or something like that. They don't even have the Kroger brand anymore. I got these Bob Evans sausages. Now these are raw, so I have to cook them cook these from raw but they are 30 in a pack and which is a savings for me because i usually get the kind that's already ready you just warm them up i have been doing that lately y'all know we didn't grow up like that mama cooked them from raw <laughs> but you know we're getting this busy time in our lives and we just try to do things you know hurry 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 they were the ones that you just you know warm up on the stove or cook in the microwave they are eight for $4.99. I got 30 for $10.99. So that's a big savings. Just have to get up earlier, do whatever. Gotta be done. Anywho, uh, got some crunchy butterfly shrimp. Those were nine or $10.99. Got some tilapia. Um, I think these were $12.99. Got some Parmesan. These were three for $6. Got some spaghetti sauce, got the tomato and basil, the traditional, and then a Hunt's tomato basil. Got some thick and chunky mayo. My husband likes salsa. So I got that. And got some yogurt, peach, the peach yogurt. I love this in my smoothies. Got some garlic powder, Rotel, two of these. We will make Rotel dip. Got some ranch salad dressing. You can always, when you do wings, you can put ranch on them. You have ranch wings. And got some liquid smoke. And this was cheaper than it used to be, it seems like. This was like $1.79 or something, or $1.99. It's a pretty decent price, but I love to put the, this in certain things. Gives it flavor, especially meat dishes. And I got some cheese. This is the 24 slice, 16 ounce cheese. Then I got some multi-grain bread. This was... $3.99. I got some sliders. I'm going to try to do something with those. Make some sliders. Got some um, two loaves of bread. Got some, well, got a pineapple, some rice, and potatoes. 
potatoes are expensive now too, y'all. I didn't even I didn't even get no eggs. I said they would have been talking about eggs online and all that stuff. I didn't even get the eggs. <laughs> but anyway, that's my grocery haul. The 207 grocery haul, y'all. It's just too much. Oh, and it's always good, y'all, to have the refrigerator cleaned out before you get home. I did a um clean with me like a refrigerator clean with me so i will link that at the end of this video too or down in the description box as well but check that video out all right catch up with y'all later